Well, hello, my little subjects. My name is King Wolf Allen. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Uh, we got a lot to get done this episode. We got to make a decision that will affect a lot of people. But first, we need to get ourselves a logic module. Curse you, robot scum! Some machine you are. You can be handled by an idiot with a hammer. So I guess this is a par on course for how stupid my character is. Um, I clicked redirect power thinking it would give me a prompt saying this will do XYZ. Are you sure? It did not. It did not. Um. <laughs> um. So, oh, so I need, okay, so I need to, uh, activate three switches before I can redirect the power. Um, okay, so I have to, I have to activate three switches before I can choose where the power goes. All right, cool. I thought it defaulted to like doing one or the other. Um, and that I was screwed. <laughs> it looks like the logic modules behind this. So I need the security chief's key card or 70 of the lockpick module thing. All right, better start looting. All right, switch number one. Taken care of. It doesn't matter. It's probably fine. They'll, they'll get their jobs back and they'll be able to live. Uh, super peacefully without any consequences. I hope. I heard a copy of Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. I need to repair down in the pit. Much obliged. Oh, so that uh, that book that we need for that one guy should be in here somewhere. Lovely. We can get that and that'll be a side quest complete. Yay, video games. Idiots. Yeah, nothing ominous about a random voice coming from this bright red glowing area. And switch number two. Honestly, I came here for the logic module, but two birds, one stone. Spacer's choice found a flaw in you. Now, it took you this long? During your adventures, things may happen to your character that could trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Okay. Robophobia. Auto mechanicals now give you the willies, and when they're nearby, you're not as effective as you should be. Minus to dex perception and temperament, minus one, but I get a perk point. Absolutely, I'll take that. I can immediately take a perk. So, 50 XP from companion kills, time dilation meter max, damage when alone in a party, fast travel when encumbered, technical time dilation, carrying capacity... Uh, we could also take extra damage per flaw. No, we'll take that. And then we'll just commit to taking as many flaws as possible. Hey, hey, bud. You okay? You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. Parvati, I think he's crazy. Phantoms, where? You can talk? The Phantoms never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. Yeah, you really shouldn't have. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Phantom's got a name? You can't possibly be a hallucination. You're much too dense. <laughs> Not at all. I'm too stupid to be a phantom. Higgins is my name. 
Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. <laughs> I use it as a reminder. Okay. Yeah, that sounds very sane of you. Uh, how long have you been down here, bud? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. Oh, you're talking in the my third person. That's great. Fuzzy these days. What do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. What is Sisty Pig? I've a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this planet. Okay, you're an engineer. That's all I need. Uh, what happened to this place, bud? Their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I don't see any pandas around here. You mean, why did the Mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told them to do <laughs> Okay. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. What do you mean you missed out? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all for my old workroom just over in the next section. Okay, you, give me... Do you have any... Actually, yeah. Was that before or after you become a Sisty Pig Tycoon? Oh, also, what is a Sisty Pig before. Tycoon? Sisty Pig Tycoonery was the apex of my Tycoonery. All right, career. that's a new word now. Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more. Do I don't have to hack them. I could just hit them with a the screwdriver a couple times. Braised, boiled, charred, skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I specialized in auto mechanical. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. I've with destroyed so lives. many of them, dude. They, it's not even a problem. So, dumb, good point. I haven't thought of that. Dumb, but persuade 20. I'm not afraid of any mechanicals. I can't even spell mechanicals or intimidate. You can help me, and I won't feed you to the sprats. I like you the know, dumb persuade. Myself, Let's go. <laughs> I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Do you, ex you expect me to be able to do that? Dumba Engineering 10, no wonder they're so angry. Somebody messed around with their logic that's, modules. That's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical yeah. engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Let's go. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Thank you for the passcode. Um, I'll just excuse myself. Thank you. You were actually insanely helpful, Higgins. Ain't that fun. Oh, I found the third switch. I walked directly past it like seven times. I know the decision's fine. Do you think I'm just gonna like flicker the energy back and forth like they're playing with the Ouija board? I know the decision's final. A terminal log in the geothermal plant security office mentioned the logic unit has been locked in a storage room across the hall. You need to find the key card to the room unless you can pick your way in. Perhaps the security chief added on them. According to a terminal log, auto mechanicals turn hostile began attacking other workers. Their plant security chief responded by making his way down to the control room. All right, cool. Now I have a big gun and a key card, so we can go get this logic module. Oh, it was that simple. It was really that simple. Okay, well. Lucky me, I guess. Look at all this stuff. Heck yeah. Hey, are you ready to go change the lives of a crap ton of people? We do this, there's no... Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but... Yeah? I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't understand much of anything. But sure, keep, let me hear you out. Power. I think it would be cool. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. I mean, if you treated them better, maybe they would. Decent, hardworking folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Do 
Yeah, I can't destroy what they've built. Talks the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, yeah. tended the sick. Mm -hmm. Gave a home to those that had none. Sure did. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? You know what? Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on. You know what, Parvati? I felt like I had to say something. I want you to know the decision I'm about to make has 100% been influenced by exactly what you said, and no matter what happens, it is your fault. Two Edgewater. You're welcome. Your corporate overlords will be happy to know you saved their business. So let's go. Let's go tell the townsfolk that they are losing their town. Hey guys, uh, Parvati has something uh, she would like to tell all you guys. Adelaide's okay. You guys all look very excited to see us. Hey Thomas, I have your book. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. I know it's not, bud. Um. What's on your mind? I have your book. Uh, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess we'll leave. I guess. Hey, Adelaine. Uh oh. You look upset. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake. Ah, hey, this was Parvati's choice. Then roasted you on a spit. This is all your doing. No. Parvati told me to do. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? It was Parvati's idea. I don't know, I like pressing buttons. Are you really this moronical, or are you just putting on <laughs> airs? Listen here, whole head. I'm only going to say this once. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. I mean, Thomas, I think, will be it fine. Now your responsibility. I think Thomas will be fine. I don't know about Grace. Thompson, that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. That's, that's kind of rude. You offering to cross read off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for. I just like done? hitting things, to be honest. You just looking for a chance to sow some chaos. He'll read if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls. <laughs> Remove read from Edgewater. <laughs> Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Got it. Tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me. Okay, now you sound crazy. I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. Okay. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer. There it is. Marauder, worker. Don't matter much to me. There it is. Rich with nutrients. Found the crazy. Edgewater cemeteries got corpses a plenty. Oh, another uh, generation's uh, worth of crops. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go let uh, the people know. Um, hey, uh, Grace. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. You're welcome. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? Exactly. Might as well go back to Edgewater. Weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with See, and everything's fine. Listen, 
could go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us. Yeah, she, she eats. I uh, she has to say she eats people. She grinds people up for her for her plants. It's fine. You better be sure about this. You go back to Edgewater without Adelaide, she's never coming back. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I suspect Reed's learned his lesson by now. Might even be willing. Oh, to I failed to remove Reed from Edgewater. This is all happening so fast. Give me a little time to give this place a proper goodbye, yeah? I fully failed to remove Why Reed from Edgewater, so I guess I'm not killing Reed. All right. Do you see Reed? Let him know we're coming back. That I, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, Thomas, I got a book for you. Oops. This was a nice family, you know, while it lasted. They could still, it could still be fine. They'll be in Edgewater. Okay, I guess I can't turn the book into you. That's weird. Hey, let me mark. Um. Oh God, rude! Don't do that. This was a nice family, you know. Okay, well, I guess I can't give you the book right now because you got other things uh, going on. Um. I guess. I guess. Hey, uh, Pavati, let's go. Let's go talk to Reed. I guess. But before we do that, Ludwig, I've captured the robot brain for you. Shut up, Parvati. I'm talking to the general. Never seen a veil lit up like this before. Uh, you mentioned the logic module. I found one in the geothermal yeah, plant. Soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. You're welcome. Oh, that reminds me. Got to look into getting us a uniform. Absolutely. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical horde. Yes, sir. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. Shock so stick? A couple bits for your trouble and a little something to remember me by. Okay, thank you, sir. Read, my man. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. Yep, so everyone but Adelaide. <laughs> expect them back at their post. Uh, Adelaide won't come back to town. Her followers will. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official... <gasps> Thank you, sir. Courtesy of the people of Edgewater. 17,000 experience! By all means. Let me ask you something, bud. Um, what happened between Son you two? Got sick with plague a couple years back. Company never gave us enough medication to treat the whole town, so I had to choose. You see, Adelaide's child, or someone else's. She's Whose child was that? This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point. Sure did. Look, we're a small, poor town <laughs> on some backwater corner of Terra 2. Only way we're surviving the coming years is by working together. Okay, fair. Uh, that was a test. That was me testing you. I'm not going to mention Grace at all, because I don't want you to re uh, retaliate. Parvati, you could stay here, actually. I got, like, priest on my ship now, so... People would have suffered otherwise. People I care for, even if they ain't care much to me. Hey, is what it is, Pavati. Do be what it do. Constable. Okay, cool. I knew. I, I was like, I'm yeah, pretty sure there was like a police force well, in here that you could talk to for there. bounties or something. Brand and Frontier Justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations. Yeah. One's free. Uh, I'm looking for work. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Got it. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Okay. 
Uh, you know what? Don't got any questions. Pravati, you down to go kill some marauders? Take that as a yes. Let's go! Birdie cut. So we meet. And so I take you a finger. Now time to loot your base, I guess. Incoming. Oh, they're already shooting at us. Oh, good shot, Pervati. Unless they just fell off the cliff and died. There's, that's also a possibility. Hey. Hey, Maybell. Hey. And that is what <laughs> 80 points of melee damage does, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come. There's, oh god, there's so many of you. Come here. There we are. Look at that. Not even, not, ah, ow! Get your dog off me! See, now it's dead. I guess none of you were alive enough to get it off of me, but... Do we want to do? Here they come. Oh God! I wasn't expecting one of them to actually put up a fight. Oh God! Well, I've learned my lesson. Don't get overconfident. <laughs> Okay, there might have been a few too many enemies to just, uh, melee. Don't mess it up. Look at that, we can just pick them off. Get them to come to us, pick them off. Look at that, they're stupid. Okay, if you could not. Okay, okay, if you could just not shoot at me with the machine gun thing. That'd be sick. No, what? There we go. We're all fine. Everything's fine. I got a finger. Everything's fine. Hey, nice of you to res. After I got my ass kicked. Hey, I brought the fingers you requested. And by interesting, I mean suspiciously reminiscent of contraband. Oh, don't worry about it. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? I have, uh... A bunch of things. Gil Antrim. Thank Real you. Name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Well, now he's not, and I have just a finger to give you. Here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Two, actually. Mabel Burgess. Age 37. Right or left-handed? Let's just say... No longer applicable. Not wrong. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. And here you are. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Sure. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. 
Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. A bonus, thank you. All right. The board reputation increased. All right, sick. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of The Outer Worlds. We got a lot accomplished. I did realize at one point while I was running around collecting the bounties that I couldn't turn in the mission for Thomas because I never actually found that third uh, book terminal thing. Um, so maybe I'll go grab that in between episodes if we can wrap that up either in between episodes or at the beginning of the next episode. I'll figure it out. Our current quest is to get back on our ship. We have the power core so we can get it off the ground and go to another planet. Uh, I think. I think that's how this goes. Uh, I've never gotten this far into the game before. Uh, so, without further ado, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good people, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.